Say hello to the new iMac 24 inch. Today we're going to discuss everything you need to know when it comes to gaming on this machine. Just like the late 2020 13 inch MacBook Pro, Mac Mini and MacBook Air, this new iMac is also powered with Apple M1 with an eight core CPU and a seven core or eight core GPU. While this is purely speculation, it's safe to say whatever games and applications were compatible with prior M1 based Macs will be the same story here. You will still be able to enjoy iPhone and iPad games from the Mac App Store, such as Sky Children of the Light or Gwent. Games which are optimized for Intel Macs will still run under Rosetta 2. There will be support for games running under Metal, Vulkan, and even OpenGL, even though it is deprecated. That said, while most native Mac games work okay on M1, some don't launch, as we've seen, such as Mafia 3. Very few may have graphical bugs, and some have issues with controller support. If you want to stay up to date with game compatibility on M1, check out Apple Gaming Wiki, which is linked in the video description. This iMac 24 inch is a direct replacement of the 21.5 inch iMac. The Apple M1 8 core CPU performance is up to 85% faster and the GPU performance is two times faster. But this is just referring to the baseline 21.5 inch iMac. In reality, performance is most likely going to be very similar to other M1 based Macs. Playing at native resolution here won't be ideal for most games, despite having a 4K display. As we've seen from my previous videos testing games on prior M1 based machines, this chip is capable of playing most games close to and sometimes above 60 FPS at medium or high quality. It's not the most amazing performance out there, but compared to previous generation Intel Macs, the performance increase is so significant and great for a personal computer with an integrated graphics chip. My main concern here is playing games at a lower resolution on a big 4.5K display. It may look quite visible compared to playing on a MacBook display or a 1080p monitor. We'll have to wait and see. Just like the other M1 based Macs, there is currently no support for Bootcamp Assistant. Bootcamp comes on every Intel Mac and lets you switch between macOS and Windows. While Microsoft are working on an ARM version of Windows 10, there is no confirmation if Apple will bring Bootcamp back to Apple Silicon Macs. For now, you have a few alternatives to play Windows games on this iMac or Apple M1 in general. First is Parallels Desktop 16.5. This software lets you run Windows directly on your Mac through virtualization. No need for rebooting. Parallels supports Windows 10 ARM and other graphics APIs such as DirectX 11 and OpenGL 3.3. You can also play 32-bit games which are no longer supported in macOS. The important thing to note here is you need to sign up to the Windows 10 ARM Insider Preview which is free. And it's also worth mentioning this software has the best performance on M1 Max with 16 gigabytes of memory. If you have 16 gigabytes, you can allocate more memory to the virtual machine and this will increase a game's performance. Your other option is Crossover 20. It has significantly better performance than Parallels Desktop as it lets you run storefronts and games directly on your Mac without Windows emulation. It also supports DirectX 11, OpenGL and 32-bit games. Both options come with their pros and cons. Game compatibility is all over the place, 
some games work on crossover and won't work on parallels and vice versa. Some games will have visual bugs, controller support is not great, and so on. But they are still very early in support for M1, so I imagine the optimization and bugs will improve over the year. If you're interested in these programs, I've left a link to try them in the video description. You can download a full featured free 14 day trial for both. Which iMac 24 inch should you buy? Other than the baseline model, which has a seven core GPU, all these 24 inch iMac configurations have 100% identical hardware specs. The other options have a Magic Keyboard with Touch ID, two Thunderbolt ports, and up to four USB-C ports, and Gigabit Ethernet. If you can afford it, go for one with both an 8-core GPU and CPU. The extra GPU core provides a little boost in performance, for example, in Rise of the Tomb Raider at the High quality preset on our M1 13 inch MacBook Pro, it's getting 43.35 FPS, Mac Mini 43.42, and on MacBook Air 40.38 FPS. M1 integrates the memory into a single chip, so you can't upgrade the memory via the back of the machine anymore. That is why I recommend upgrading the memory to 16 gigabytes. For native Mac games, which have not been specifically optimized for M1, performance is usually almost identical with either 8GB or 16GB. However, for games which have been specifically updated for M1, they can more cleverly utilize memory for performance gains. For example, in Baldur's Gate 3, Alvarez, the Mac developer were able to optimize the game so M1 based Macs with 16 gigabytes of memory can play at the ultra quality preset and devices with 8 gigabytes of memory are best played at medium graphics quality. As I said previously, 16 gigabytes of memory is also great for parallels. If you can, go for 2 terabyte or 1 terabyte of storage. 256 gigabytes or 512 gigabytes of storage is so small and will fill up quickly if you plan to play lots of games. As we know, games these days take up a lot of storage. Metro Exodus is 84 gigabytes, for example. If this isn't an option, you could always get an SSD and play off that or just a hard drive and use it to back up your games when your computer gets full. Are you going to pick up the new iMac 24 inch? Which config will you go for? Which color will you pick? Do you like the new thin design? Are you disappointed that it only has an Apple M1 chip? Let me know what you think of the machine in the comments. Leave a like to show your support and subscribe and turn on notifications as I will definitely be testing many, 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 many games on this Mac when it comes out in, I don't know, three weeks, mid-May, mid sometime like then. Anyway, thanks for watching. My name's Stewie.